Hey guys, I thought of creating a vlog on uh, my solo trip that I made to Europe. It was back in 2018. So, you know, I went to Italy and the picture that you can see is that Gothic architecture, I must say, is of Rome. It was very, very grand. And, you know, the first meal I had was, of course, you know, my favorite dish, which is spaghetti pasta. I loved it. And uh, Rome, I must say, it's very, very beautiful. Um, what you see now is Trevi Fountain. So, you know, the, the saying is that you toss a coin there and that's that's what people do. It's always very crowded. People are in the queue to toss the coin so that, you know, they come back again. So what you can see is Colosseum. It's right in the center of uh, the city of Rome. Uh, you know, the oval shaped amphitheater. It's very famous. But there's a very long queue if you want to go ahead and purchase a ticket. I would suggest avoid that. Maybe, you know, pre-purchase a, a sightseeing tour. with You can use Viator to uh, purchase it. You will, you know, you get like, a, you get an entry ticket to Colosseum and Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. And you have a guide too. So that would be the best option so what you can see now is the roman forum so you know you can literally walk from colosseum to roman forum because it's it's nearby you know you can just uh, maybe it might take you a couple of minutes and you can go ahead and you know have a look at it you can see all the ruins uh, of the city i can stop myself from dancing people are just like they're playing music so I had a quick lunch and then headed towards uh, Vatican City. Again, you know, you can take a skip the line uh, ticket, pre-purchase it because the queue is so long. If you go, if you think that you'll take a buy a ticket and then enter, it might take hours. So I would suggest just purchase a ticket before, um, you know, entering uh, the Vatican City. So I had taken Skip the Line guided tour. That was a group tour, obviously. So we had a guide who took us to Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica. And, you know, she explained us everything explicitly. Uh, what you see is definitely such a beautiful piece of art. It is Michelangelo's painting. Your jaws drop looking at it because it's damn beautiful. I felt, you know, I was in love with the uh, Rome architecture it was all so grand and you know you just go stroll around sit wherever you want it's such a nice place what you see there is the Spanish steps all the people are just there sitting in the steps and doing nothing so you know it's so nice so I took a morning train from Rome uh, and then I went to Florence very comfortable train um, that's the first breakfast I had in Florence. Florence is again a very beautiful place. Of course, you're breathing the Tuscan air, so you, know, you feel great about it. The Duomo that you see there is another grand architecture. I was just in love with this place. In fact, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, you really can't choose. Everything that I was seeing was best in itself. And then you have this San Lorenzo market you get everything you know so it's like a flea market there so I had booked a half day tour from uh, Florence to Pisa because I wanted to see you know this leaning tower the bus that I've shown you earlier very comfortable and you know you'll be traveling in a group and you know it's again a very nice place that's there's again a cathedral inside so you can get in you know take some very good pictures it's a huge place so you know you can just roam around and admire the place it's really nice it's absolutely worth every penny so just have a look at that isn't it pretty it's so amazing you know you feel at peace you know being a part of such a beautiful surrounding it just elevates you completely so um, after spending a day in Florence I headed towards Venice because gondola ride was definitely something that I always dreamt of doing So, you know, gondola ride in that Grand Canyon was like a dream come true for me. I had always dreamt of something 
doing like this and you know i just did it so it was like pure achievement like you know you can say a moment of achievement i was feeling very happy so you can either hire the entire gondola for yourself now that will be very expensive and i was traveling alone so obviously you know it would have been um, it would have costed me uh, quite a lot so uh, there was an indian family so we took this uh, you know the ride together to uh, share the cost and i think i enjoyed and i'm definite that they enjoyed too So the way of commuting in Venice is uh, via the waterway. So there are no taxis uh, available as such. So you can purchase a ticket and then hop into one of those boats, which will, you know, uh, take you from one destination to the other. So, um, you know, for next day, I had booked another tour uh, to the nearby island. So, there are three islands adjacent to each other, mainly Murano, Burano and Torshella. So, you know, you have to hop into a ferry, that's what you can see. And then the first stop will be in Murano. It's like the tradition is of glass making. And they have a museum also, like not a museum, but it's like a shop. You know, you can buy one of those very pretty items um, from there. And the second island uh, the ferry is going to take you is uh, Burano. Burano is famous for its very uh, colorful houses. You know, you can see pink, orange, blue, so you know, multiple different kind of uh, houses that you can see. Uh, a tiny place, but very, very uh, charming, you know, colorful kind of thing. And finally, the last island that uh, you're gonna go is Torcella. Torcella is very beautiful. If I have to compare between Burano and Torcella, I would definitely uh, rank Torcella more. It's very nice. There was a tiny um, cathedral also, and you know, uh, extremely beautiful. It was purely serene. So Venice trip, I guess I would say I rank it in. Um, maybe topmost because i completely fell in love with this place and that is my last dinner in venice before i took a flight and then moved to paris breakfast at the hotel in paris and i felt really nice to see darjeeling tea there i'm from darjeeling so you know and then uh, went to Louvre Museum. Um, the, the, the focus was, of course, to see Mona Lisa, the famous painting. But being there, uh, I felt it might have been overrated. There were a lot of other paintings too, which according to me, I felt it was equally good. So there were, um, you know, excellent uh, piece of art that was displayed in the museum. And, you know, you have to walk a lot because it's really huge. You really won't be able to cover everything in a day or so. So after uh, the museum, I went to Notre Dame Cathedral. Uh, uh, it was before it caught fire, obviously, because I visited in 2018. So for next day, I had booked a walking tour to Eiffel Tower with a guide. Uh, so, you know, we walked till the second floor. So it had 600 and I suppose 49 stairs that you had to climb till second floor. And then from there, you could take a, a elevator and go till the summit. So what you see is Paris from the top of Eiffel Tower. 
So I was excited to visit Champs Elysees. I had heard so much about the street, and that is Arc de Triomphe. You know, there were people there. It's such a hustle bustle kind of a street. You know, you can just go there, sit in one of the cafeterias or the restaurants there, and have your dinner and just enjoy the day. So I had booked a, a Shawn River cruise uh, too. Again, you can use Viator uh, to purchase it. Um, you know, you can get in uh, this uh, cruise, and then it will take you around uh, the River Shawn, and you can view uh, the Paris city from the cruise. It is one of a you know experience, and I would suggest you should do this when you are in Paris. days of stay in paris ended with this tour and the next day i headed towards home um the entire uh, solo trip to europe was one of a kind and i must say i thoroughly enjoyed and i hope you guys enjoyed too